Hey stars, today is the day. KK Slider has finally made it to our island because last time we made it to three stars. If you missed that day, it was epic. I will have it linked above. Make sure that you stay tuned because we have a very busy day. Now, the KK Slider concert can be a little lengthy, so I'm just going to give you an abridged version. If it's your first time playing Animal Crossing New Horizons, it's important to know that the game is not over once you get to this point. I remember playing for the first time and seeing the credits rolling during KK's concert, and I was so confused. After KK Slider plays his first concert on your island and you've reached three stars, it's almost as if you're just beginning. There is still so much to do. All right, the moment is finally here. Let's go! <laughs> Geez, I wish I knew the lyrics. I mean, KK Slider karaoke would be kind of fun. See, it looks like the game is over. So confusing. What a cute group of villagers. I am so lucky. Hey there, Tom. Of course I did. Marking KK Slider's first visit, Tom Nook will provide you with a copy of Welcome Horizons in your pocket inventory. He also announces that KK Slider will visit the island every Saturday. My favorite part about KK visiting is the ability to collect his music. If you listen to one of his musical performances by requesting a song after 6 p.m., you will slip a copy of it into your pocket inventory. Tom is explaining that he's sending me an app that will help with the development of the island. This app is called Island Designer. The Island Designer app allows you to easily lay down pathways, waterscape, and terraform. The permits for these will cost you Nook Miles, so when you're ready, be sure to visit the Nook Stop inside of Resident Services to redeem your miles. We will definitely be doing that later in this video. All right, now we can get to work. But first, let's redeem some of these Nook Miles. It appears that I have enough to redeem for my very first permit. Hmm, decisions, decisions. I don't think that I'll be laying down any paths this time, but I would like to do a little bit of terraforming. So I think I'm going to redeem that permit first. The cliff construction permit allows you to terraform by building up and tearing down cliffs. Now, before we get started on terraforming, we have a little bit of work to do. Let's clean up this island. It is a hot mess. Not only do I have a whole lot of furniture to move, 
I will also need to move a lot of trees. But before we get started on that, let's say hello to our new friend Ruby. You know, I was thinking, I have never had my birthday twin on an island before. I wonder how that works on our birthday. I guess I'll have to find out. It's coming up. Okay, so I have this weird Animal Crossing quirk where I don't like to shake my fruit trees. So I always end up purchasing a lot of fruit from Nook's Cranny anytime I need to dig up trees or break rocks. Does anyone else do that or is it just me? All right, now that we have a belly full of cherries, let's get to digging. I dug up all of the trees behind Resident Services and the Able Sister Shop and moved them forward. Here is a before shot of the map. It's going to look so much different when I'm done. Alright, let's get to terraforming. When you open the Island Designer app, it will provide you with some details on all of its features. I plan to build off of the existing cliffs on the back of the island and bring them forward towards resident services. I will be redeeming more of my miles later on for the waterscaping permit. That will allow me to close up some of the waterways in order to expand the land. I'm so ready to start shaping the island. It never seems to fail. There's always a villager around when I'm waterscaping or terraforming. Does that happen to anyone else? After going at it for a little while, I decided to stop, do some dailies, and then I hopped back into resident services to redeem my nook miles for the next permit. Now I'll be able to remove or create waterways. This will definitely come in handy. I definitely like waterscaping more than terraforming. I always struggle to make my terraforming look aesthetically pleasing. Which do you like better, waterscaping or terraforming? Tell me down in the comments. We made a lot of progress today. I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.